Hello guys, uh, today I wanted to show you how I set up my template in Bitwig. Uh, so let's get started. Firstly, uh, Bitwig gives us shit ton of headroom when you start your project. Uh, it's on a minus 10 dB at default, so I'll turn it to minus 6. I don't need minus 10, it's for me. Then uh, on my master channel, I use uh, pop filters. A multiband compressor i watched virtual rights older streams here i'll use all three bands uh, click on the lower one minus 05 same on the middle range on the high frequencies i put one so our speakers or don't explode if anything goes bad with your sound design then i'll use a limiter on it my master channel I usually go with uh, almost clipping. Uh, after the song is done, I'll swap it out uh, for Ozone for mastering. That's my main workflow with the chain. That's it. Next, uh, we'll go and create a group track. Call it. Make it red. Create a new instrument track. Call this trigger also red and put it in our group track let's uh, create a note receiver on our group track to receive notes that will trigger our sidechain put this on trigger trigger next uh, put a volume shaper i use volume shaper for my sidechaining uh, because i love that plugin you can use lfo tool it's the same workflow Let's put uh, some random curve. Next, uh, we need to click it on a MIDI one shot bit. Uh, I like volume shaper because it can split your frequencies and not affect the whole spectrum. Then, if we will click our MIDI controller, you can see that our volume shaper is receiving MIDI from the MIDI track. So, we can uh, sidechain uh, any kind of beat with this. So usually I'll drop a note here. Usually I uh, drop C1 or something like that. And leave this like this. Then we'll create some group tracks. All this, uh, for example, bass, effects. Uh, usually I'll have a vocal group as well. Then I will route everything uh, except the drums to the sidechain uh, to affect our group tracks. Let's sidechain uh, put the synth group track to the sidechain master, bass also to the sidechain master, FX also, and every group now is sidechaining uh, with the help of our volume shape. That's it for our sidechain. Let's go to the uh, effect tracks or return tracks they are called in Ableton Live usually have a reverb uh, for my pianos I, I use this plugin called reverb use you know, my first uh, yeah, effect track uh, the second is uh, color room this and the third one is uh, fab filters uh, r called let's put it on. this is my effect tracks now i have a deactivated track here you can see i loaded a contact piano activated you can see playing now uh, i i want to use uh for my chords uh, i do time so let's create a new track all this uh, bring it up here let's load our Cthulhu. let's get uh, rid of the arp for now create some that you can see we can trigger uh chords with one notes so we can 
we need to route our Cthulhu to the piano so our contact piano would get chords when we play notes. So on Cthulhu we need to uh, route it to our piano track. Then on our piano track we need to put Cthulhu as an input and we'll need a note receiver as well before the contact. Then choose our uh, Cthulhu here. Good now. Play. Let's see. Arm Cthulhu. As you can see, uh, our Cthulhu is now going into contact libraries giant. Like in this example. Let's click on ARP and uh, buy it. That's it for our chords. Uh, if you want to record this, you need to arm both tracks. Or the contact uh, track won't record if you don't arm it. That's it. Nextly, delete this, group this. That's it for my uh, tracks for now. Let's see, uh, then we can save it as a template. You name it and save it. So I'll change it to CPM choice. Then uh, on the preferences, uh, you need to use it. press use template and browse to your template. It's gonna always uh, put with your template on the startup. Thanks guys, uh, that's it for today.